Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a magical day today. If you're new, my name is Tay Luna. Welcome to our channel, I'm so happy to have you. So I asked you guys today on my YouTube community page or tab, whatever you wanna call it, um, what kind of anxiety video you wanted to see next. I am cranking out all kinds of anxiety content. I have a huge, huge, huge announcement coming up very, very soon for you, so make sure to stay tuned. But I had um, the beautiful soul Sarah from our tribe respond and say that she wanted to chat a little bit about panic attacks. Um, and basically it's some different techniques and things that you can do to help you get through your panic attacks. No one likes panic attacks, they are terrible, they can last for a while, so it's really important to know what to do when you're feeling that way um, and maybe how to catch it before it gets into this full-blown panic attack. So today I'm just going to be sharing some of my favorite techniques with you to help you through panic attacks and if you want to see the rest of our anxiety content here on this channel, I will link the anxiety playlist below, so go check that out and let's just get into the things. <laughs> Everyone's anxiety is completely different and I want to make that like a huge thing in this that what works for me might not work for you But I absolutely want you to try these things if you experience panic attacks So for me and my anxiety personally, I can really tell when an anxiety attack is coming before it gets into this flow full-blown thing why can't I speak today I don't know so yeah I can kind of tell when my anxiety attack is going to happen before it does and this is like prime time you guys this is when you want to try if you have the ability to catch yourself um, get yourself outside get yourself outside <laughs> dealing with anxiety we have to remember that anxiety is really a block of the root chakra we are feeling um, unsafe we're feeling unsure insecure we're feeling worried all of these things we don't feel safe um, and we're storing all of this energy in our body and that's what's creating you know horrible breathing patterns your heart starts racing um, your head might hurt whatever happens to you when you have a panic attack so it's really important when you notice one coming on that you immediately try and ground that energy and the easiest way to do that is by going outside so go outside if you can to get some fresh air be in the sunlight um, you know feel the breeze on your body ground that energy and if you can go outside barefoot and walk around that's even better um, that is said to be really good for energetically releasing through your feet releasing that energy and that will help bring your anxiety down a lot I live in Florida so it's literally hot all the time but if it's cold where you live you could even just jump in your car you don't have to go anywhere if you're too anxious please don't drive um, but jump in your car and maybe roll the window down a little bit and just kind of have that fresh air hitting in your face you know what I mean get outside um, that will really help ground your energy especially before all of the panic starts to set in so definitely try that if you are pre panic attack mode <laughs> but if you are in full-blown panic which happens it happens to me all the time um, I'm gonna teach you some breath work so for me personally no medicine works better than just my own breath <laughs> Um, because when you have a panic attack, you really feel like you can't breathe. You feel like something heavy is sitting on your chest, weighing you down, closing off your airways. Um, and that's what really kind of makes your symptoms get even worse and worse. So we want to invite as much fresh air, fresh oxygen into our body as possible and release anything that we're storing, release any tension that we're storing by deep, deep breaths. So what I'm going to teach you is called Durga Prayanama, and I'm totally pronouncing that wrong because I'm a little white girl, so sorry about that. <laughs> but um, basically this is a three-part breathing pattern that's going to help you get your breath deeper into your belly um, when you have panic attacks you're in fight-or-flight mode you're probably breathing really fast and your parts probably racing right um, but having those shallow breaths just in your chest are not going to help you feel like you're getting a deep breath so what I want you to do is find a comfortable spot. If you're out in public, go into the restroom or find a little corner where you can just be in your own space for a moment. Maybe get into your car. Again, don't drive and do this. <laughs> Um, but what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to move my camera so I can show you this. So what you're going to want to do for this breathing exercise is place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. And when you're having anxiety, you're normally breathing into your chest. So, yeah, 
your top hand is the one to rise, right? We need to get that breath as deep into our bodies as we can. So placing your hands here is a good way to help you see how deep your breath is going. Once you get good at it, you don't need the hands. But what you're gonna wanna focus on doing is taking a deep breath in and feeling your bottom hand rise before your top hand rises. So we're breathing deeper into the belly and upward. And then you hold at the top and exhale slowly in the opposite motion. <sighs> Allowing your top hand to fall and then your bottom hand to fall. So you're breathing deep down into the belly and then exhaling the opposite way, <sighs> right? You're gonna inhale, you're gonna feel your bottom hand and then your top hand and then you're gonna hold and then you're gonna exhale your top hand, your bottom hand and then you can start all over again. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I just wanted to explain it to you. I'll even turn so you can maybe see my chest rise. Okay. So kind of like that. So the goal of this breath is to get super deep into your belly and expand as much as you can. You feel like everything in your chest is hardening and closing up. So when you do this deep breath in, it's a chance for your body to expand with fresh oxygen. And then you release as you exhale. What you want to do is make it as slow and as long as you can. A lot of yoga teachers that I've worked with say to inhale and then exhale twice as long as your inhale. The longer you can make your exhales, the more you feel releasing so keep doing that um, for me that honestly makes my panic just slowly melt away and you have to do it for a minute you have to get into it you'll get your pattern going um, and you'll just feel your breath get deeper and deeper into your belly and that is exactly what we want so the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys are just two yoga poses that you can try when you're having a panic attack that kind of go along with your breath work and it just allows you to open up your body a little bit more um, these yoga poses are the most basic yoga poses that there are in the book. So if you are not a yoga person, these are going to be great for you. And I definitely recommend trying them anyway. So I have two yoga poses for you to try with your breath work that are just going to help your whole body open up, expand, and allow more oxygen to flow. So the first thing you're going to want to do, should I do this sideways like this? Probably. So the first one we're going to do is cat-cow pose. So you're going to start by just getting into a tabletop on your hands and knees. And we're going to do a cat-cow. So it's just a variation of bending your belly, your chest down, and curling your back up. So for cow pose, we're going to inhale, drop your tummy down to the ground, reaching up through your head, your shoulders, and your hips. And as you exhale, we'll curl the spine, pushing back just slightly into your hands. And exhaling. We'll do a few more. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, round out your spine. And so what this pose or what these poses are going to do is as you're opening and closing your chest, when you inhale, you're opening your chest open, breathing deeper into your belly and just allowing everything to expand. And that's exactly what we want when we're panicking because it feels like everything is collapsing, closing in on you. So the more you can open up your body, get that breath nice and deep is exactly what you want to do and then when you round your spine you're literally pushing all of that stale air out of your body as you curl your back so it's squeezing all that air from your tummy coming out and releasing that tension releasing that stale breath stale prana all of that getting rid of it creating that extra space and that is exactly what we want when we're having a panic attack. This is something I would definitely recommend if you're trying to get your breath a little bit deeper than when you do your breath work just sitting. Because when you physically open your chest, you can actually breathe deeper. <laughs> 
Um, so I would definitely try that if you are having a panic attack, do them for as long as you want. You can wiggle your hips around, take any movements that feel good to you, um, but definitely play around with that one. And when you're done with that, you'll take a child's pose. So if you're starting from that same tabletop position, just separate your knees a little bit and send the hips down on top of the heels, letting your hands go forward, your chest fall down. And maybe resting that third eye, your forehead down on your mat or on your floor. And this is a really good grounding pose. So you can just visualize yourself releasing into the earth all of that tension and everything that's no longer serving you, whatever is making you feel anxious. Just take a moment to get deep into your breath and really, really release that while you're sitting here in your child's pose. You can stay forward. You can walk your hands to the side and stretch your sides out. opening up your whole body and staying there as long as you need it. I would absolutely recommend trying these yoga poses. It will really help slow your breath down, slow your heart rate down, allow those anxiety symptoms to settle a little bit. You will just feel so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found these tips super helpful and please let me know how they work for you. You can send me a private message on Instagram at Tayluna if you don't wanna share it out to the world. But if you do, feel free to comment below. I would love to just open the gates to discussing the way that we deal with our anxiety. I'll be open about it so we can all help each other heal. And yeah, let me know how this works for you guys. If you have a technique or something that you do when you have panic attacks, please let us know in the comments down below. I would love to hear and maybe even try what you do. Add it to my little routine. Make sure to head to my website, tayluna.com slash anxiety, and all of my free anxiety material will be right there for you. All of the videos that we've done on this channel, free printable worksheets, and all kinds of other things will be on there, so make sure to go check it out. I will leave the link down below. And yeah, I think that's it, you guys. I love you to the moon and back. Please let me know if you like this video by giving it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.